Hello, welcome to your sing-along today. Today we're going to be focusing on some classic Christmas carols. I think all four that we're going to do today you'll probably know. If you don't know them already you can just have a little listen through and then sing along with the video because I'll put the lyrics all up. If you'd like the sheet music I'm going to add the sheet music to the Google Drive under the YouTube link so you can read the music as well. Have a wee listen. If you like the sound of any of the harmonies, give them a wee go, but we can go over them together as well. Just as a quick disclaimer, all of these carols, the main melody is in the soprano part, so that means that it's going to get really high. You're very, very welcome to sing these soprano parts, even if you don't have a particularly high voice. If that's the case, if you're more of an alto like me, and you'll see that I struggle at some of the high parts, go into your head voice. So that's using a lot more airy breathiness that is just gonna um, not put too much of a strain on your vocal folds or even on your diaphragm really. So instead of singing, hark the herald angels sing, go straight into your head voice, which would be, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. So you're letting out a lot more air as you're going. And that's going to protect your vocal folds and it's just also going to protect your nice time as well because you're going to be able to hit those notes and you won't um, struggle too much. So as we're doing this, remember we want shoulders back, we want chin kind of straight, our faces straight ahead and yeah, always engaging our diaphragm as much as we can so we've got this lovely airflow coming all the way through. So we are going to start off with Once in Royal David City, which is a song that is usually sung at the beginning of most carol services. and They usually get the weest member of the church to sing this first bit, but um, I don't think many of us are very wee right now, so we're all just going to sing it together. This was originally a poem written by Cecil Francis Alexander and was published in 1848, so from the mid-1800s. And you'll know this one, it's classic, it goes Once in royal David city Stood a lowly cattle shed So let's have a little listen to this. Go back and uh, sing along with it once you get the, head, the tune in your head. This next song is one of my favourite Christmas carols ever. I remember singing this at high school and having a great time doing it. It's called In the Bleak Midwinter and it was a poem originally by Christina Rossetti um, and then is now performed as this amazing Christmas carol. And you'll hear all of these harmonies really kind of intertwine together and um, I think truly express the concept of this song which is how it's wintry and it's cold, but actually something beautiful is happening in amongst all that coldness and darkness. So you'll know this one as well. It kind of goes very vaguely like this. In the bleak midwinter 
Frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron. Water like a stone. So how about we sing through for the melody for this part. Again, the lyrics will be up. And if you want to try any of the harmonies, I'll add the sheet music below. But we can also go through this too. This next Kyle you will probably know because it's an absolute classic. It's Heart the Herald, Angels Sing. What you might not know is the original melody was supposed to be quite a sombre affair. And if you can think of the melody right now, the Hark the Herald, Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King. It's like very glorious. Um, but Charles Wesley and George Whitefield who uh, wrote this, taking some of the lyrics from Gospel of Luke, uh, wanted it to be quite sombre, but it was usually, it was originally called the hymn for Christmas Day, but Mendelssohn in the Romantic period was like, nah, this is too nice a song to have the tune all sad and sombre, so we're going to make it very joyful, because it is joyful lyrics, so that's why we've got this da 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 so we want to sing it very joyfully. Um, now it gets really high, really, really high. So if you'd want to um, go down an octave, make sure you go down the octave. If you want to put in a harmony, you can. Remember with a lot of these songs, if you're playing around with harmonies, you don't want to do any specific ones. You can do this idea of a pedal that we might have been talking about before. So you just find the root of the chord. So for instance, da, da, da. That seems like a comfortable note, so let's just stay here for the entirety of the song. Might work for you. Give it a wee shot and see how it feels in your body and in your brain and in your soul and spirit and heart. Um, please excuse some of my out of tune singing in this. It's quite high for me and as you know I'm an alto so this was reaching my limits. But enjoy this song. Hark the
And to finish off our carol singing today, we are going to sing O Come All You Faithful. So this is the final rousing carol to get you marching out the church and being like, yeah, Christmas time. So this is a lovely carol, which was originally written in Latin as Adeste Fideles. And some, they don't know who the various authors are or who the author was, but some versions of this can go back to the early 1600s, which is wild. It's a very old song. Um, so you'll know this as well. It's the one that goes, O oh, come, O oh, ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. It's a really fun tune to sing. And the really nice thing about this tune is that um, the sopranos get a little solo in the middle of it. So what happens is the sopranos start the line and the altos come in on the line and then all the other parts can come in and join. So you've got this lovely building, which I think is supposed to represent all of the angels kind of like appearing out of the ether. So it's the bit that goes, Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. And you can see that it just like moves up and all of a sudden we're all at the end. I guess adoring the Lord or whoever you choose to adore in that moment. It can be the Lord or it can be anything else festive. So, again, this gets pretty high, so just be aware of your range and be aware of where you're singing it. If any of these songs get too high, just move straight into your head voice and you'll be fine. Okay, well, enjoy, and I really look forward to singing these carols with you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>